Eating healthy, nourishing foods is something that is super important to me, but as a busy mom, I know that it can be a little bit tough to pull off. But since it is something that I really prioritize, I do make time for it. However, the only way for me to really make this happen week in and week out is to plan ahead of time, make some food ahead of time, and also just to really keep my pantry well stocked with the basics we need to make healthy meals. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I prep for a week of healthy eating. This is something that is so key for me as, you know, just a busy mom who really wants to eat well and also wants to have healthy food available and made for her family. A little bit of planning and forethought really, really goes a long way. And when I don't do any kind of planning or prepping, I am just kind of lost. I end up just being very hungry and I mean, this is important at, at any time of life, but especially right now, I am postpartum, I'm nursing a ton, and I am just hungry. I really, really need a lot of solid, like nourishing fuel throughout the day to actually feel my best so that I can show up as the best, you know, mom and wife and, you know, for my work and everything. It's just so critical. And I think a lot of times, as especially as busy moms or really just busy people in general, it's so easy to just like skip eating or just like, oh, I'll you know do better next week or whatever. But really it is one of the most critical things you can do. When it comes to our health, there, there's like nothing else we do several times a day, every single day, day in and day out, like we do with eating. So if you can, you know, if you can improve this one area of your life, I feel it makes such a big difference, not only in your health, you know, short term, long term, but how you feel on a daily basis. So for me, this is just so, so key. And I'm going to take you guys along with me this week to share with you what I'm making, what I'm planning to make healthy eating possible. So the very first thing that I do is I plan out our meals for the week. So breakfast, we cycle through the same few things with very basic ingredients that we pretty much always have on hand. So I never actually have to plan out breakfast unless I wanna do something special, which is not that often. For lunches, I like to plan one to two things that are pretty much made ahead of time or will be super easy to throw together that is protein rich because that is something that I really know, I know that I need in the middle of the day to really fill me up and keep me going. And then I like to keep basics on hand um, to make lunches for my kids as well, like to make sandwiches, snack plates, you know, fresh fruit, that kind of thing. I keep lunch really, really easy for them. And then dinner is where I do most of my planning. I like to come up with usually six to seven dinners a week and um, I'll you know cycle through old favorites or I will sometimes pull out cookbooks if I just need like some inspiration to like get out of a rut. Um, and this is so important for me to actually plan these out because I am just not the kind of person that can cook on the fly. I know a lot of people are and they prefer that, but that actually just stresses me out more. I feel like it's so much more of a demand on my mental energy to have to be creative and make that decision of what we're going to have every single day of the week. That truly exhausts me. So I prefer to just do all the thinking, all the decision making and all the planning one day of the week and then have dinners planned for the rest. I will say though, I do sometimes go rogue. I am not totally locked into that plan. Sometimes I'll switch it up based on like, you know, the ingredients that we have. I thought I'll maybe make something different. However, I know going into my week that every night there is some kind of dinner planned that I've already pulled out all the meat that needs to be defrosted for those dinners. We've already done the grocery shopping or stocked the pantry with the essentials that we need so that I know it's not going to be a big event. It's just something that should go pretty smoothly and I'll be able to get some kind of healthy homemade meal on the table for dinner each night. And the reason I'm able to do this and to be flexible is because I always have a well-stocked pantry. I always have all of the basics that we need for cooking, you know, most meals on hand. And one of my favorite ways to stock my pantry is ordering from Thrive Market. I have been a fan of Thrive for many years and it's something that I've always relied on to stock my pantry, to stock my kids' snacks, like whatever it is, they have so many great options um, that are really healthy, wholesome, 
often organic, um, but they're much lower prices that you're gonna find in your local grocery store. So I have a big box of Thrive goodies here. I'm gonna share with you guys what I got in my most recent order. So this is my favorite brand of oats. You guys probably see these in my videos all the time. The reason I like them is one, because they're organic, but also they are sprouted, which is it makes them way easier to digest. Instead of like soaking oats, um, I just buy them sprouted, so it's just kind of one step that I can skip. Um, you can also still soak them if you want, but I just like that they're already sprouted, they're gonna be easier to digest um, and easier for our body to absorb the nutrients from them. Okay, this is an absolute pantry staple for me. I use a lot of chia seeds. I use them in, um, I'll add them to all different kinds of things that we're making. You can top them like oatmeal with them, but I also love chia pudding. It's one of my favorite things ever, so I always have chia seeds stocked for that. And then I'm excited about this. Um, this is a hemp chia flax mix. I usually like buy these individually, but I love that these are all just together. I am all about efficiency. Any way I can make things easier and faster, but still get like the same end result, like sign me up. So when I saw this, I was like, I immediately added it to my cart because, and it's also just less to store. It's just one bag instead of three separate bags. So anyway, um, I love that. I got a bag of organic all purpose flour. I use flour for so many different things, mostly sourdough stuff. Um, and this is gonna be a cheaper option than buying it from just like your regular local grocery store. Okay, another couple just total pantry staples. A big jar of raw unfiltered honey. We like to use honey for mostly, for me, it's like mostly like baking stuff or like making um, healthy sweets or whatever. So we use honey mostly for that and I always have some in our pantry. Another thing is peanut butter. We go through a lot of peanut butter in my house um, and I always want organic peanut butter that just has peanuts. Sometimes, you know, if salt is added, I'm okay with that, but um, this is just, the only ingredient is organic peanuts. The fun fact, the very first nutrition video I ever posted on my channel like 10 years ago was all about peanut butter and why you should be looking at the peanut butter um, ingredients and being choosy with that. So I always look for one that just has peanuts and this does. Avocado oil, another absolute staple in my kitchen. I use this for pretty much everything. It's my most used oil because it has a high, higher smoke point than something like olive oil. I do still keep olive oil in my kitchen, but I just don't use it nearly as often um, because I just love the versatility that it can handle higher heat. And it also is like tasteless, so it's easy to add to like baked goods. I never use vegetable oil. I always pretty much use this instead. Okay, and then these I am excited about. So I got two um, like sauces, dressings from Primal Kitchen. So first I got their ranch dressing and then I also got their buffalo sauce. So I don't know if this is like a, I've just been craving like a buffalo, anything buffalo chicken just sounds so good to me right now. So I decided to, um, to like act on that and I'm gonna make some fun stuff this week. So, but I wanted to point out especially, so these are both made with avocado oil. They're not made with any kind of processed oil. A lot of the times when you're buying salad dressings um, or sauces from the store, you're going to find they're made with, you know, like soybean oil or canola oil, which is something that I prefer to avoid when I can. Um, I'm not a complete nut about it, but um, I do try and keep those out of our diet as much as I as I possibly can without going crazy. So um, I love these options. However, you can often find these in the store, but they're not the cheapest. Like they're gonna be more expensive than your soybean ranch dressing. So, um, soybean oil ranch dressing. So I love that I can get these at a lower price from Thrive. And then this looked really good. So I grabbed this too. This is a poultry seasoning. Um, and again, on the vein of like making things faster and easier, I've been trying to buy more like spice mixes. Um, so instead of like using six different spices when I'm trying to make like a taco seasoning, um, I'll use, you know, just trying to use like one taco seasoning. So for chicken, I decided to pick this up because it's such an easy protein option that can be used in so many different ways. So um, if I'm just cooking up chicken, I love that I can just throw this on there and it's gonna be super tasty, but I don't have to actually like work very hard to make it taste good. And I read the ingredients online and they're awesome. There's nothing weird added. It's literally just 
a bunch of different spices in here um, and some that I don't even carry like in my pantry usually so I thought that was kind of fun and different and then speaking of that um, Thrive also like the Thrive Market brand has spice mixes they do have a taco seasoning one um, but I decided this time to get this is called a buffalo blast um, and I'm gonna make some kind of um, I'm gonna make like a buffalo chicken salad this week or but yeah buffalo chicken salad um, and I thought that I would get this to season the chicken that's gonna eventually go into the chicken salad like when I'm cooking it. So I thought that that just sounded really good. And again, it's just simple, um, you know, the ingredients are simple and it just makes life a little bit easier. So they have a bunch of these different spice blends. If you've never heard of Thrive Market, they're an online like membership-based grocery store and they guarantee that you'll save on every order. On this order specifically, I saved just about $40 versus if I were to go to just a regular grocery store. I love that they have so many healthy organic options. I love that you can look at the ingredients on the website. I also just love their like Thrive Market brand. They have so many good staples and they obviously cost less than buying the name brands and it comes to your door. Like you literally cannot beat that. It's like the utmost convenience and the shipping is always quick. And as we all know, groceries, especially organic, wholesome groceries are expensive, or maybe you just don't live near like any kind of health food store that carries this, these kinds of products. I just love Thrive and I would recommend it to anyone. You can do either like an annual membership or you can do month to month. They offer cash back, they do price matching, and you can get also free shipping on any order that's over $49. They're always adding new products. There are customer reviews on the website, which can be helpful. You can you know, filter by different diets or preferences. I personally love the buy again section because it makes it super easy to just remember what I really like to get from here and easily add it to my cart quickly. So if you guys want to try out Thrive Market, you can click the link in my description box or just go to thrivemarket.com slash Becca Bristow to get 30% off your first order and also a free gift up to $60 when you join today. And on top of my discount, Thrive is actually running a friends and family sale right now through the 24th, so it's a really, really good time to sign up if you haven't already. And now, if you guys are ready to see what I'm making ahead of time this week to make healthy eating a little bit easier using my favorites from Thrive, let's get started. The first thing I am making is some sourdough sandwich bread. That is my go-to. I actually started that the night before, mixing together all the ingredients so that I could ferment overnight on my counter. I will link down below my favorite go-to recipe for sourdough sandwich bread that's made with all purpose flour. It is so easy to make. It's hands down just like the most simple recipe, especially throwing it together the night before. And it is always, it always turns out well for me. I've never made it and had it not, or had it not turn out. And it's also really tasty and my family really enjoys it, which is a win. The next thing I did was bake up a bunch of chicken breasts to use actually for two different things. On some of them, or on all of the chicken breasts, I put avocado oil. And then on some of them, I put that poultry seasoning and I was going to use that chicken to add to Cobb salads. And then the other set of chicken breasts, I put that buffalo seasoning on to make a buffalo chicken salad. And I just baked those in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes, basically just until they read um, 165 on my thermometer. And then once the chicken was cooked, I chopped it all up. I chopped the chicken for the cob salads, just kind of rough. I wanted them to be like larger chunks of chicken um, to throw in my salad. And then for the buffalo chicken salad, you could shred these, but I decided just to chop them up and I just basically diced the chicken. So it was much smaller pieces. And then I added that to a big bowl. Next, I diced up a bunch of celery and then I also diced up some red onion as well. And I threw that all in the bowl too. And then for the chicken salad, I needed some mayo. So I quick whipped up a batch of that. Mayo is actually so incredibly easy to make, especially if you have an immersion blender. I just do an egg, a little squirt of Dijon mustard, a little splash of white vinegar, a little squirt of lemon juice, and then a teeny bit of salt. And then you cover all of that with a cup of avocado oil. And then using your immersion blender, just make sure you kind of let everything settle and then make sure the immersion blender goes on top of the yolk and you 
blend that for about 10 seconds until that yolk is fully whipped up and then you kind of incorporate it into the rest of the oil that's in the jar. It's super easy and fast to make. It tastes so much better than the store-bought kind and then obviously it's made with all high quality ingredients. So I went ahead and added about a half a cup or so of that to my chicken salad and then I also added probably about a fourth cup of the buffalo sauce, mixed it all together and it's seriously so good. And then as for my Cobb salads for the week, I already had the chicken made but then I went ahead and also cooked up some bacon. I just stick it in the oven because it's just so much easier and it's way less messy and I cook it at you know about 375 for 15 10 to 15 minutes basically until it looks start, like it's starting to get crispy and then I also put some water on the stove to get that boiling so that I could make some hard boiled eggs I actually like to make more medium boiled eggs I usually leave them on the stove for about five, maybe six minutes, um, and I put them in once the water is already boiling. And then once they're done cooking, I put them in a bowl of ice water to stop the cooking and cool them down. And then I just stored my eggs, chicken, and bacon all in containers in the fridge, so that way I can just pull them out and quickly throw a salad together with that yummy avocado oil ranch dressing, plus some avocado, cherry tomato, and blue cheese, which I can just easily pull out of my fridge. Next, I wanted to make some more snack foods to have on hand that I could just quickly grab out of the fridge. And the first thing that I made was chia pudding. You guys know I love my chia pudding. I just do in a mason jar, one cup of whole milk, four tablespoons of chia seeds, a little splash of vanilla extract, and I just shake it up. And I usually shake it up a few times over like 10 minutes before putting them in the fridge. That way they don't clump up. And after about 24 hours, it's all thickened up and ready to eat. And I also made some no energy oat balls. These are just great to grab as a quick little snack. I've been loving these for while I'm nursing. I do two cups of sprouted oats, one cup of that hemp chia flax mix, which is perfect for these, about a third of a cup of honey to sweeten it, two tablespoons of vanilla, a little pinch of salt, and then a full cup of peanut butter to hold it all together. And then I also add in a half cup of chocolate chips and I basically just mix it up till it starts to really stick together. Ideally, you wanna put it in the fridge for like an hour or so to harden up. It makes it much easier to roll them into balls. And then once it's chilled, just go ahead, roll them into little balls and then you can store them in your fridge for the week. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that you are leaving feeling inspired to plan ahead, make some things ahead, and just really set yourself up for easier, healthy eating. And don't forget, if you guys wanna try out Thrive Market, you can click the link in my description box or just go to thrivemarket.com slash Becca Bristow and you can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift up to $60 when you join today. And then also remember that that friends and family sale is running right now, so it's a really, really awesome time to sign up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comments for me. And also, if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe and join my little community here on YouTube. But that is all I have for this one. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will I'll see you guys in the next video.